Have you ever been frustrated when your app just won't display the way you want it to? If you've ever tried to force your iPhone to stay in landscape mode, only to have it flip back to portrait, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into a common issue with orientation settings in iOS development. I totally get it. It can be incredibly annoying when your app behaves unexpectedly, especially when you've put in the effort to set it up correctly. You're definitely not the only one facing this issue, and it's something many developers encounter. Let's take a closer look at the specific question at hand. One user recently asked, why does my app not stay in landscape mode when I tilt my phone between 45 and 90 degrees? They shared their code snippet, which seems correct, but the behavior is not as expected. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what could be causing this odd behavior? It turns out that iOS has specific rules about orientation changes, especially when the device is tilted. We'll break down the potential reasons and how to address them. And stick around. I have a valuable tip at the end that could save you a lot of headaches when dealing with orientation issues in your apps. To address the issue with the orientation not changing as expected, the user should first ensure that the device's orientation lock is disabled. This can sometimes interfere with programmatic orientation changes. Next, the user should implement the orientation change in the view controller's lifecycle methods. Specifically, they can override the view will appear method to set the desired orientation. Additionally, the user should ensure that the supported interface orientations are correctly set in the info.plist file. This is crucial for allowing the app to display in landscape mode. Finally, the user should test the application on a physical device. The simulator may not accurately reflect orientation changes, so testing on an actual device is essential. Fun fact, did you know that the first mobile phones were only capable of making calls? Now we can develop complex apps that can do so much more, like controlling orientation. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests that if you're facing issues with the screen staying in portrait mode, you can resolve this by calling UINavigationController.attemptRotation to device orientation after setting the orientation value. Now, let's see a response from a different user. One alternative solution is to override the trait collection did change method. This allows you to maintain the desired orientation when the device's size classes change. You can implement custom logic within this method to handle orientation adjustments. Additionally, you can set a single allowed orientation in Xcode. Go to your target settings, select the General tab, and choose only one orientation to enforce. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative solution provided by another user involves overriding specific properties in your view controller. They suggest setting the supported interface orientations to landscape right, disabling auto-rotation, and specifying the preferred interface orientation for presentation as landscape right. Here's the tip I promised. Always test your app on multiple devices and orientations. This practice can help you catch issues before they reach your users. And there you have it. With these steps, your app should now handle landscape orientation correctly, even when tilted. Remember, thorough testing is key to a smooth user experience. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.